Hi guys, today we are going to discuss one of the most important question for your interview, which is what is method overloading uh, in Java? And this interview question gets frequently asked. Uh, so let's try to answer that question today. Uh, I'm going to define what is method overloading and then I'm going to demonstrate how to achieve method overloading in Java. So let's see, method overloading means you can have multiple methods with the same name and you can achieve method overloading either by changing uh, the number of parameters to that method or by changing the data types of the parameter. Now, what do I mean by this? So let's go ahead and uh, try to demonstrate this. I'm going to create a new class known as calculator, uh, pretty straightforward. So this is new class, uh, which is calculator. And the responsibility of this class is to add numbers. So we are going to see how we are going to have public int add this method takes two parameters int a comma int b and it returns the addition of these two parameters. We are going to have a a plus b. Pretty simple. So this method accepts two integer parameters a and b and returns uh, the sum of it. Now as as we said, method overloading is having methods with the same name. So let's try to add one more method, which is add, and it accepts three parameters, int a, comma, int b, comma, int c. That means it can accept uh, three arguments and return the sum of them. So let's do it, a plus b plus c. So here, here you can see we have two methods. Uh, the first one accepts two integer parameters, a comma b, and the second one accepts three integer parameters, a comma b comma c. Let's go ahead and try to uh, demonstrate this using a test call. So I'm going to create a new class and this will be our calculator test. We are going to have main method in this, which is going to test our calculator class. So let me, instantiate calculator object, calculator C equal to new calculator. So I've instantiated it. Now I'm going to call add method uh, first with two parameters and then with three parameters. So let's see how we can add integer result one equal to C dot add. I'm going to pass 10 and 20 to be, to be simple. So, it and let's print it. So this is where we are calling uh, the method with two parameters. I'll add addition of two numbers and I'm going to print the result, which is our result one. Okay, so this is where we called uh, the method with two parameters. Let's try to run this program and see what is what is the output. The output is addition of two numbers is 30, perfect. Now let's move ahead. And uh, we also had we also added one more method with which accepts three parameters. We are going to do integer result two equal to C dot add. And this time we are going to pass three parameters, which is 10 comma 20 comma 30. Pretty clear. So let's try to print the output, which is addition of three numbers, because this time we are sending three numbers to our add method, addition of three numbers. All right, so let's print the result two, and this should give me the addition of three numbers. Let's see if, if it gives the results correctly. So I'm going to run it. Addition of two numbers, as you can see, is 30 addition of three numbers, you can see is 60. So it's working perfectly fine. So what we demonstrated uh, in, in the calculator class is you can have method with the same name, which is add in our case. And you can have, uh, you can have, you can change the number of parameters that are passed uh, to that method. So the first with two parameters, second with three parameters. So I think this is pretty clear now. Let's try to demonstrate our uh, second way of achieving method overloading. Just for the comment purpose, what I'll do uh, by changing the number of parameters. Okay, so this is the first way 
uh, we achieved our method overloading. There is one more way we can achieve uh, method overloading. That is by changing by changing the num by changing the data types data types of the parameters. Okay, so this is by changing the data types of the parameter. Let me copy the above method, uh, which is public, uh, which accepts integer. But this time, I'm going to use double a comma double b. So at line number five, we are passing two integers to the method. But at line number 14, we are passing two double, double a comma double b to, to the method. So this way, also, we can achieve method overloading. So let's see if it works uh, as expected. Just to keep the class simple, I'm going to delete uh, this method call with the three parameter. And here we demonstrated how we are passing integer. Now we are going to demonstrate how to pass double. So I'm going to have double result two equal to C dot add. And this time I'm going to pass two double uh, numbers. So let's keep it 10 dot 10 and uh, 20 dot 20 and let's see if we get the correct results so addition of two double numbers is what's what we are trying to achieve and we are going to present we are going to print our result two which is going to be double so in the above call we are passing integer value and here we are passing double value both are accepting two arguments so let me run this and see if, if it prints correctly so you can see uh, the first one is where we passed uh, two arguments and got uh, 30 and the second one is where we passed uh, two arguments and got the got the result so uh, this there's some um, there's some precision problem with the double and in case you get this precision problem you can go for big decimal so we'll have uh, all this discussed in our upcoming upcoming lectures so hope you understood what is method overloading. Just to summarize, method overloading is where you can have methods with same name, but you can either change the number of parameters uh, to that method, or you can change the data types of, of uh, the parameters to achieve method overloading. And this is also known as compile time polymorphism. So interviewer might ask you what is compile time polymorphism and how to achieve this. The answer remains the same. It is method overloading. So hope you are enjoying this series, guys, where we are presenting you with uh, the Java questions that might get asked in your interview. And we are trying to answer it one by one. So hope you are enjoying it. Uh, see you in the next interview question. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Keep subscribing. Thank you.